Hey everyone, I hope that you are well and um, I thought I'd just send out a message here through this video. I'm just taking a break from work, having my cup of tea and I thought, why not? So I've um, had a few people reach out to me in the past couple of weeks um, just to share the way they felt um, in general. And a few of them told me they felt a sense of confusion, feeling very low on energy, um, feeling tired. And what's interesting is that they almost all said that they didn't know where this was coming from. They, they're not sure why they're feeling this. And to tell you the truth, even I did feel that. The sense of feeling out of my element, but not knowing why everything's fine, I have everything I need, but just this sinking feeling inside of me. So then I thought of spreading this message and just reminding you that we're all, if you too have been feeling that, or if you are currently feeling that, we're all connected. Everybody, everything is connected. And when the human consciousness or humanity at a collective level goes through something or undergoes something, everybody feels it in some way or the other, okay? So whatever is going on in the world right now, okay, whatever is going on right now, it feels like there is some kind of purge happening, okay? Just like when you're gardening, the old needs to be taken out for the new to grow. So that is definitely happening out in the world. Although it might seem like total chaos, it is actually something positive happening because this purge needs to happen. The old needs to be taken out. But what I want to send out in this message is don't give up, okay? It is normal to feel tired, okay? When, when human consciousness at a collective level is undergoing something this intense, which it is right now, um, it's, it's okay to feel this way, as long as you know what you're feeling and that you're in control of it. And um, I just wanna remind you, be compassionate towards yourself, towards what the whole human consciousness at the collective level is going through. Be compassionate, but don't give in to the fear that is being propagated. There's a lot of fear being propagated. Do this, otherwise this will happen. I don't want to get into that too much. However, it is important to say this. It doesn't matter what side you are on. It doesn't matter whether you have chosen to take the thing that we must not talk about, apparently. If you've chosen to take it, if you've not chosen to take it, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which side you are on. It's not about being on one side and dividing society and, and fighting against each other and hating each other. And this is exactly what the agenda looks like. So it is not about which side you are on. Okay, it is about staying sovereign, staying in your power, staying rooted and grounded in your power. And the best way to do this is to practice love and compassion on a daily basis. Every moment that you remember this, that whatever you're listening to right now, whenever you remember it, I invite you to practice some love for yourself, just for the way you're feeling. Compassion for yourself. And that is going to ripple, create a rippling effect, and you're going to operate from a sense of love towards others, towards any situation. Again, remember, it is not about which side you're on. Have compassion for those who have chosen the other way, who have chosen to do things differently. Help each other, build each other up. And this is how we are going to get over, get through this. And we are going to get through, through this, through this difficult times, like we always do, right? Remember that the truth is always going to shine brighter. Even if it takes time, it is going to reach where it needs to reach, okay? And another thing I want to remind you of is if you're 
if you're going through some kind of challenge or you've just gone through a, uh, some challenge, remember that you have just gone through something that's really difficult, but you're still here, you're still strong, and you have the strength within you, no matter what anyone else says, no matter what that negative voice inside of you might be saying. You have that strength. You have come through this already. Now think of it this way. What are you taking out of that challenge? Any challenge that comes to you was there, happened for a reason, for you to grow, for you to evolve. That's how evolution happens. If there are no challenges, we'll just stay linear, right? We want to evolve. We want to grow. So I'm not saying um, I'm not I'm not spreading um, what's that word uh, toxic positivity here no I'm saying once you've gone through a challenge look back it is okay to feel sad to feel um, maybe beaten down while you're going through that challenge it is okay it is good in fact to feel feel whatever you're feeling but be aware of those feelings and know be convinced that you're going to get through it and once you get through it when you start to tap into that power that's within you then remind yourself that this was here to teach you something now what are you taking out of it and what are you bringing from that because what is it worth what is it worth coming or going through that challenge or that hardship if you're not taking anything from it for yourself and for anyone else so what are you taking from that and bringing to yourself to into your life and to someone else's life think of that and trust me, when you bring something, some kind of value from something that has happened into your present or into someone else's life, there's no feeling that can be better than that one, can, that can be more empowering than that. Every little challenge, as small as it may seem, is an opportunity for you to grow and to bring more value to yourself and to others, okay? Um, I hope that this makes some sense. I have not written any of this. Uh, it just, it's it's been brewing inside of me, I think for the last few days and I thought, why not make a video? Uh, I'm gonna get back to work now. I hope that um, this helped you in some way. Do let me know. Um, and I do encourage you to also put out there what is inside of you. What is your inspiration? What, what is your intuitive self telling you to bring out to the world? We're all here for a reason. We're all part of uh, this beautiful, beautiful community, right? And you're here to shine your light. So whatever it is, what is it that you love? What is it that you wake up feeling excited about? Is it dancing? Is it singing? Is it writing? Is it cooking? Is it running? Is it, I don't know, um, teaching? Is it playing a musical instrument? Is it, I don't know, um, sketching? Um, did you do it today? If not, then why not? And you know, those who say I, I don't have time, th these are, yes, okay, you might be busy, you have a lot of things to do, but taking five minutes or 10 minutes to do what you love can change the dynamic of your um, entire day. Okay, so take some time, just even if it's just 5, 10, 20 minutes, do it. And remember that time is something we create. It is something that we are in charge of, okay? And when you operate from that sense of awe, of excitement for everything and anything, look at the sun, feel excited. Or look at the, the leaves falling off the trees, feel excited about that, it's so beautiful. Feel excited about the weather, it's changing. There's, I hear this so much, so I've moved to a, a very cold country very recently, but I've heard this so many times, oh, winter's coming, oh my God, winter's coming, uh, oh my God, it's summer, it's so hot, oh, it's autumn, it rains all the But there's beauty in everything. It makes us appreciate the other um, or the other part of the year a little better, a little more, right? Winter is time for revitalizing, uh, resting, um, regaining our strength, getting ready for the next season. Think of it this way and find awe, find excitement in little things. Find yourself smiling at yourself. You don't need anything else. 
trust that you have all that energy, that love, that excitement inside of you. It's just a matter of tapping. It's not finding it. It's tapping into it. Okay, I could go on. <laughs> I'm going to end this here. I hope that this makes some sense and that it was helpful in some way. I'm sending a lot of love to anyone who's watched this and uh, to let me know what you think. Send me a message um, if you know I can help in any way. If you want to just black it out, <laughs> share something, go for it. Lots of love.